Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Visio. In this module, I want to look at how you can link Visio diagrams into a PowerPoint presentation. And as you can see, I'm in the timeline diagram. So I'm just going to do a little simple timeline like that. So those dates can do. And I'll have a little milestone, call it phase one. So you create your your diagram as normal phase one and then I'll have a expanded timeline and I'll go for um, 1st of January to the 1st of March that could be my little expanded timeline and in there I shall put something a block interval put it on there call this planning and you just build up your timeline or planner, that'll do. You build up your timeline as you normally would. Click OK. And then what you might think you can do is highlight all of that and then copy. Go into PowerPoint and paste special maybe. But when you do paste special, you don't have anything there. So if I pasted this, it's just going to be a detached copy, which is not great so what you can do there's a couple of things you can do first one i've still got this highlighted so i'm going to right click and group it make it into a group now that's all one group so if i then right click and copy now go back into powerpoint you suddenly find that paste special is active which is really odd but it is okay so there's the diagram now i'll just save this so we've got to save Save to the PC. I've already named it Linked Visio. And um, back to Visio. What you then have to do is just right click and group, ungroup this. And then when you add extra things, so I'll just add another milestone, call that phase two. Okay find my mouse okay and then in PowerPoint what you can see is that the the changes have been made you can see the the update there if I go back into Visio again and add something else the process should continue so if I just add um, another milestone there part one click OK make the save back into the presentation uh, wrong one and then there is part one so it is not as um, a good as good a way as you can possibly do this because I think what happens with a lot of objects when you do Visio is that they don't let you group them for example if I was in a, a organizational chart in Visio you can't group an organizational chart so if I go get myself into one I'll show you so there's one so just create if I quickly do a, an organizational chart if I get multiple shapes on that um, free managers that will do so then if I want to do the exactly the same on this one so if I highlight it go for group organization charts cannot be included in a group shape so that what I've just shown you with the timeline won't work if you're doing this you can actually bring them individually into a um, presentation this one so if I paste special that I can paste special this but this is like never-ending process this uh, I don't think anybody's going to do this unless it was always going to be set in stone one at a time and then do the lines and everything. So if I go back into Visio and just change that, put my name in there and then um, save it. It should have picked that up. Um, save it as drawing seven. and then it's picked it up 
but that that is just too much of a faff on for me uh, i wouldn't want to be doing that but if it was like i said if it's uh, something that's going to be pretty static maybe you would but the other way of doing it is if i just get rid of this now i'm just going to delete this off it's, it, which would probably work both ways if i go insert object so i'm going to get the entire object browse timeline 2020 bring it in link okay there it is so it's in there now if i go back into visio and open that up again file timeline 2020 and do something to it like um what can i add so another expanded thing so six to the third, see what that looks like okay that's okay should have done it a bit smaller than that but let's see if that's picked that up so what it hasn't picked that up straight away but if i save that and then close this file down so this is called so if i close that and then i open that again so I'm just going to powerpoint and open link visio that one do you want to update links yep there you go it's updated so there's two ways of doing it but the end product is obviously every machine's different and you have to test it out and make sure it works okay and it works all the time so on a network this would work all the time if you're moving around you might have to watch where your files are if you haven't got access to the files because you've got no internet connection or stuff like that you can have a problem um, but this worked there is a, quite often you do have to do that whereas that if that was into word or excel that would probably just update straight away but i find quite often in powerpoint you have to close it save it close it reopen it for it to update um, you can force it to update if you just go into file info you've got edit links there so you can click on that and even though it's on automatic sometimes you do have to force it to update and then just close that off but that's all i want to talk about in this little session so hopefully you got something out of that and you can do that with your own visual drawings. Thank you for your time.